are farmers being forced from the land they love as prices plummet. And in some cases, the consequences are deadly. Here's News Channel 5's Chris Conti with photojournalist Bud Nelson. It's kind of home. It just, it feels like home. A final gust of an autumn wind whips through the few pieces of corn left standing on Paul Hamilton's farm. Naked, wilted stalks soon to be gone. And so too will Paul Hamilton's prized herd of dairy cow. You know every cow by the way they act. He hasn't taken a vacation day in four years. It's once a day, I put out two bells. There's no way he could. Yet Paul loves this land, loves these cows. When you do it for 29 and a half years, you know, you, you kind of get to where it, it's part of you. But like the 1971 John Deere tractor he keeps riding. You can see I don't have fancy equipment, it's old. Paul's farming career is about to be beyond repair. <laughs> it's hard, it's real hard. This 53-year-old is carrying a burden far heavier than the hay bales he uses to feed the cows here. I say they just keep taking more and more away from me. Well, you can't, you can't afford to stay. Paul once dreamed of selling these 80 acres to his son, John. Come on, heifers. The high school junior does his best to help his dad. Farming, though, just isn't in his blood. I wouldn't want to do it every day for 365 days a year. It's just, it's a lot of work. <laughs> and even if John wanted to, his father refuses to let his son follow the same financially uncertain path. Because it's not a living anymore. Yeah, there's... You know, you, you work and you work and you make no living. And last month, the Hamilton family made negative $1,500. We're hemorrhaging money at this point. It's just, it, it, we can't keep going like that. Paula Hamilton doesn't see a way they can survive past the end of this year. Hundreds of dairy farms have shut down nationwide since the start of 2018. The next year's don't even look any better either, so. It's kind of sad. It is not just about the money, though. There is something much deeper, much darker, much deadlier gripping America's farms right now. If you've got people that have multi-generations and then they're the generation that goes out, and there's guilt that goes along with that, there's hurt, there's, you know, why, what did I do wrong? We can't romanticize farming anymore. It's a tough, tough occupation. As a nurse and professor at the University of Kentucky, Dr. Debbie Reed has spent three decades studying rural health problems. What worries her the most right now? A spike in suicide among farmers. Farmers are four times more likely than military veterans to commit suicide. In 2014, 21 Kentucky farmers saw their situation as so dire they chose to take their own life. In 2015, 15 farmers in the bluegrass state committed suicide. Our analysis of numbers from UK going back to 2005 shows that 142 farmers have died by suicide. A staggering statistic, silently taking this country's hardest working men and women. When are the people going to realize that the farmers are, are struggling out here, you know? It, uh, I don't know. Facing financial and emotional ruin, Paul is battling severe depression. They've taken a real toll on him the last couple of years. He's aged probably 10 years in the last couple of years. And that's been hard to watch. The solitude of this occupation that so many love has left so many feeling so alone. You know, you feel like you're connected to the land and you have to take care of the land, but the land's killing you. It's in the quiet moments when no one is around, but the enormity and gravity and reality hits Paula. Because you always try to, was it stiff upper lip or whatever it is? And you know, sometimes when it's, when you're by yourself and it's at night and you're looking at everything, you're thinking, God. So, and then you think, okay, how can I do it where the insurance, where he still get the insurance money? And then you think, I don't need to be thinking this way. Oh, yeah. She is talking about her deepest, darkest fears and hopes that maybe another farmer out there will hear her. 
no one's telling the farmers about it. No one's saying, hey, there's other people that feel like you feel and it's okay to feel like you feel. You, a lot of times you just feel like you're in this by yourself. Every time you get a bowl of cereal, you pour out a thing of milk, you should wonder, how much is that farmer getting? It's just not a good business to have anymore. If, unless you're just a massive dairy, it's not a good business to have. But even with everything they are facing, the Hamiltons aren't ready to give up until they've exhausted every option. Because right now, their family's legacy is all they have left. You always have the hope, but it'll get better the next year. With photojournalist Bud Nelson, Chris Conti, News Channel 5.